Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful was salatu was salamu ala khatim al anbiya wa imam al mursaleen and may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon the seal of the prophets and the leader of the messengers ar rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala ahlihi wa sahbihi ajma'in and upon his household and entire companions their viewers i greet you all with the best of greetings assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh meaning may the peace blessings and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon you all alhamdulillah you are welcome to the first episode of the series looking at the adab of the believer that's the etiquettes of the believer and really coming from the book itself adab al mufrad written by imam al bukhari rahimahullah may allah have mercy upon him on today's episode i'll be talking about the link between adab and akhlaq that's etiquettes good etiquettes or morals and character the rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam was mentioned to be the most exemplary individual sent by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to mankind as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about him wa innaka la'ala khuluqin azim and verily o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we have placed you upon an honored and exemplary character you have the best of character your perfection in terms of your etiquette your character this is what was done by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in sending him to mankind as the final messenger and he himself the prophet himself sallallahu alaihi wasallam had said in a hadith that inni bu'ithtu li utammim makarim al akhlaq that verily i have been sent to perfect character good character here is referring to the non visible or those things that you have that are lying within the individual they are inside of you and good character here is what shapes the actions that you will carry out as an individual and that's why again the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had mentioned in a very famous hadith that verily in the body there is a pound of flesh ala fil jasadi mudgha idha salahat salaha al kullu if that pound of flesh is good then the entire body is good وَإِذَا فَسَدَتْ فَسَدَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّ But if it is bad, then the entire body is bad. Allah وَهِيَ الْقَلْبِ Verily, this pound of flesh is the heart. The heart is the receptacle of everything that you take in that forms your character. Once your heart is good, it means automatically you will begin to imbibe in good character and once you have good character which is in you you would naturally carry out deeds that become part of your adab or your adab now the adab here is a reflection of your akhlaq it's a reflection of your character so if you are one who is kind and who is generous it is a reflection of the character of generosity and kindness that you already have so where people says oh from the etiquette of this person is that whenever they go into a place and they use a place they clean it up and make it more conducive and usable for someone else example you go into a toilet to make use of the toilet once you're done you don't just splash water everywhere leave the place looking messy and someone else comes to use the toilet use the same toilet or bathroom and and they're not able to do so the good character that you have makes you have that build that particular etiquette that whenever you go into a place and you meet it in a neat manner you're coming out you make sure that it is neat as well and that's how the rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam was when it came to his character when it came to his etiquettes as well the things that he did that drew so many to embrace islam because of the character that he had and also because of his etiquettes because the etiquette itself comes from the character the noble character that an individual might have and that's why a lot of scholars lay emphasis on building character akhlaq before emphasis on ilm knowledge is good knowledge is important it's extremely powerful but if you do not have the right kind of akhlaq you might become a person of knowledge but who is also filled with arrogance subhanallah those who are knowledgeable but without character they do not portray islam in the best of ways sometimes and sometimes they even become a fitna more than becoming a source of bringing the ummah together bringing the community together but once a person has developed good character and they they've been able to master the ability of exhibiting that character through their numerous etiquettes and through their numerous actions then bi idhnillah ta'ala this person will surely form amongst the best on the day of resurrection as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had said in a well known hadith again that amongst the things that weighs on the scale of the believer heaviest on the day of resurrection is the one that comes with husnul khuluq 
with very good character. And that's why he always prayed for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant him good character. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you and I and us all good character because through that, Husnul Khuluk, we're able to build very good adab or adab. That is the plural of adab here that makes us to become amongst those who are closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And none else would be closer to him than the one who really exhibits goodness in their interactions, in their mu'amala, in their ways of doing things, in how they are very meticulous in whatever they do, they plan, and also in their sincerity. Because adab must also come with sincerity, ikhlas, sincerity in doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my dear brothers and sisters, during this series, we're going to be looking at a few ways of how we can build very good character and also how we can morph that or make that transform us into having the best etiquettes when it comes to how we deal and interact with our families, when we deal and interact with our community, how we deal and also interact in our business circles, the mu'amala basically, the engagement, social engagements that we have across all these areas. Because in our time of today, these are the core things that we all have to face as individuals, whether it's one crisis or the other in a family, and how do you mend those fences that have been built or those walls that have been built between loved ones, between family members, to how you interact with your community in general, the Muslim ummah, and also those who are non-Muslim. How should we interact with them? How was the Rasul able to conquer the hearts of many through the etiquettes that he showed? If we showed or exhibited just a small fraction of that, can we imagine the number of people who would come to Islam, come to the faith? And even if they don't, can we imagine the number of people who would have more regard and respect, especially for us as Muslims, whom we know the most valued individual to us is none other than the Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As he has mentioned in numerous ahadith, the quality of the believer being one that loves him above others, but not just loving him because he states it, loving him because of the sacrifice he made, the sacrifices he made for the ummah, loving him because of who he stood for and what he stood for, loving him because through that, we earn Allah's mercy and salvation. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Qul in kuntum Allah. Verily, if you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Fattabi'uni, then follow me, yuhbibukum Allah. And Allah will love you as well. So for everyone who wants to earn the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Surely earning the love of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or building the love of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in our hearts, it's extremely important we do that. And no better way can we do it than in showing or in exhibiting those etiquettes and characteristics that we saw with him or from him and also as he exhibited in his lifetime how he interacted with others. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send his peace and blessings upon the noble Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and may he give us the ability to build good character and also to build those manners and etiquettes that helps us to draw closer to him, to earn his reward and ultimately be amongst the inhabitants of his paradise, his jannah. But more than that, is to earn the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَرِدْوَانٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرٌ And His pleasure is far greater than any other thing that you can imagine. Imagine earning the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala above and other than being placed into Jannah. SubhanAllah, that is such a great feeling because through earning His pleasure, it means you are pleased with him and he is pleased with you, you would see his wajh, yawm al qiyamah. You will be honored to be in his presence, yawm al qiyamah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala count each and every one of us amongst those who will earn such a station with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may he give us the ability to build good character that draws us closer to him. Barakallahu feekum, dear viewers. Do stay tuned throughout the series as we will take one by one and dissect one by one all of these aspects of building good etiquette which automatically comes from building or having good character and inshallah i'll see you in the next set of episodes that we have coming up barakallahu feek wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu